Well, Diane and I are out on a, a field. I had this some uh, Saturday, and uh, I found a couple of weeds and a buffalo. Uh, and now I uh, came back, been here about 10 minutes, and I got an Indian. Okay, uh, can't quite see a date on it, but uh, we'll be back with more. Well, there's a Diane girl. She said she got a flat button, and I'm actually nearly on a spot where I just did it, and I got a nice flat button. Okay, uh, back with more. Well, I swing along. I got a nice sound, and I saw this partially exposed here in the ground. I think it's a coin. I'm not 100 percent sure, but it sure looks like it. I called Diane over. And uh, we'll we'll take this out here and see what it is. Can you see that, Diane? Yes I can. Does that look like a coin to you? Uh -huh. Okay. Let's see here. Well, all I'm doing is putting more mud on it. Okay, I'm going to uh, pause the camera here a minute and clean it off a bit and see what it is. Okay, yeah, I cleaned it off some. It's a it's a large set. It uh, has pretty good definition. I, it might be an 1843, 1840-something. Uh, it's it's thick. It's a braided hair, but uh, I can see full liberty on it from here. Look at all the hair lines. Okay, uh, we'll be back with more. Okay, uh, Diane called me over and she got an Indian. There's the Diane girl. What else you got there, girl? Uh, it might be a piece of pocket watch or something. Looks like I had a little gold on. <laughs> yeah, that looks like it might be part of a pocket watch. Maybe. Anyway, she got this Indian here. Looks like it's an 1881. And she got a, a weedy earlier. It, she put it in a slip here. It's nice and green. It's probably an older one too. Okay, we'll be back. and we circled around a bit, looked at a few sites, uh, and we stopped at one that we've hunted quite a bit, and uh, I just got a signal here, and I see where I believe is a coin sticking out of the ground. Let's pull this out and see. Oh yeah, it is a large sign. Okay! Sticking out of the ground. Pretty good uh, 